Oh, hello and welcome to Masanda One Fan Vlog. Uh, uh, I have uh, Baratox here, uh, I have Secret Agent, I have uh, Overking Mukhara, and I have the one and only Maestro. We're here to react to uh, the announcement by Sundowns uh, of the co coaches, uh, Kush Mangova and uh, Kush Rulani. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, where do we even start? Uh, <laughs> Uh, what do you have to say about this one? Um, expected. Um, the, the sensible decision, in my opinion. Um, continuity. I'm happy. Uh, Rulani, Coach Mangwama and Coach Rulani have been there with, with it. We know Rulani went out alone for two years, and then he came back. <laughs> So, <laughs> but they've been with Coach Pizzo and the core of the team for a good part of seven, six, seven years. So I'm happy with the appointment. Um, um, and I'm sure it'll work. Um, they have to make it work. Both of them, they, have, they will make it work. Mm. Maestro. Well, I should say I'm relieved. The way we started the week, yo. We started it on, on a very low low point, but we, we ended it on a very high point. I'm really happy, especially for Coach Mangoba, you know. It's time for him to take the horns, and I'm, I'm really, really happy. Looking forward to the next season, actually. Mm. Over again. Um, logical conclusion, generally. Um, also, I think for me, it came bit too late man this thing was very simple like well when did when did they announce the re resignation uh thursday on course, man. Oh, wednesday on the beach wednesday yes thursday i don't know not admin but uh someone i suppose they appointed man to learn because like there's really um with the amount of planning that uh, the technical team have done in terms of going into the new season uh with their recruitment with um the next four years what they want to do it it honestly couldn't have been anyone else besides Mangawa and Rulani. so i'm happy um you know there's really nothing that can stop Mangawa and Rulani from taking uh over from what uh, everyone wanted, uh, me included, we all wanted to see Coach uh, Mangova given the head coach job to say it's Coach Mangova's team now. Uh, and now they said uh, the co-coaches. Uh, agent, are you happy with uh, co-coaches thing or would you have been happy with Coach Mangova given the job as the main man um i would have been happier with uh, Manova being the main man mm. but uh this co-coaching thing yeah i can't say Jorge, i'm not happy ne? but i would have been happier with Manova uh, because i think he deserves it how, how long has he been as assist assistant six years around there so mm. I, I felt for a he he was the person who was supposed to be the coach but i don't know i think they will make it work this co-coaching thing and um yeah they've been working together as first assistant second assistant for around three years so i don't see why it wouldn't work so yeah now i'm excited to to see how they will work make it work yeah yeah okay uh, 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 you can go on there's, there's an interesting part in this statement. Not interesting, but I think I think you 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 all know what I'm about to read right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Here, Sundowns, Mamli Sundowns today announced the appointment of Mangwanit and Ranmukwen as joint head coaches with the, <laughs> with the option that Mangwanit <laughs> will be prevailed where there is no consensus. Oh, okay. <laughs> guys. <laughs> if about one, if someone wants to pick Kevin uh, Rasmus at home in the next game, man, no one will pick a one will pick a Afonso. Man, no one's word 
e o Bayern lá. Why, why, why is he assistant coach? Why is he assistant coach? I don't know. But I think from the from the club, it was very unprofessional for them to put it that way. Honestly, they, they shouldn't have yeah. put that in the statement. It's 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 okay. It's between the the, the two coaches and the club uh, agreement. I want. We shouldn't know who's going to sign them. Ah. Eh, professionalism le nyaka go Sundowns la iso gela. Do you guys think for me I think do you guys think who this thing is because of the rumors that have been circling around where Kushmangova doesn't want uh, the uh, doesn't want to be the main man. Do you think that is the reason? Could be. Well, yeah. if, if So there's there's two sides for me. If that a uh, rumor, you know, there's some merit to it, né? then then the co-coaching thing it it makes sense, right? Mm. If uh, U Uman Nova says I don't want to take it uh, um, as the main guy, uh, maybe he said get someone else or do this, then I. Can- mm, you just go be there. Oh. Lost all. Yeah, and you know what I wanted to add? I wanted to add that, uh, and I think we all know that Rulani has the balls, eh? Rulani has the balls to say, give it to me. <laughs> so, I was, I was, yeah. Sorry, boy, I was about to play devil's advocate after Ubiya Bole. Like, uh, if that's the case, if the rumors are true, or uh, Coach Mangoma didn't want to be the main man, then mm-hmm. why don't you give Rulani away the main man, Coach Mangoma assistant, if he doesn't want to be the main man? Uh, first last out. <laughs> <laughs> but if, if the first man does, does not want the job to be the main man, give uh, it to this young technocrat. You, re- you relieve the pressure and say, okay, you guys are co-coaches then. So, and, and then when Warata uh, Warata, you've been here, you, you will make the main decisions. You are also this guy's senior. And uh, I don't know, you know, uh, I, I, I wonder, like, I honestly and seriously wonder what was going on in Rulani's head because I think Rulani's I think it was on Marawa where he said he doesn't mind going back to being an assistant but now he will choose who he'll be an assistant to and it was clear who he chose to be an assistant to Pito and uh, I think he can be an assistant to Steve Compella because guys he has a history with those guys and they are both his mentors uh i wonder he, he chose to be peter's assistant i don't think he chose he would have chosen to be mangoba's assistant if he had the choice well, never know he didn't have the choice he's here so he's gone yeah now umu mangoba is here and I have to make it work somehow Since they are co-coaches, who would you like to take to to go to press conferences? You know, take questions. <laughs> the one who who makes a decision when there isn't a consensus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey. I personally, that, ah, I think it's clear, guys. It's so clear that Mangoba is our coach. It's so I personally. Clear. Clear. I personally I would love Rulani to, to do it. You know, he's got that thing of mind games. <laughs> you know that thing, he like mind games. Kushmangova eh? has it. Kushmangova has it. Isn't that Kushmangova is so spoken, man? Ramu Tebi. Yes. That man is too silent for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> because, I, I think you think so because, like, For the past seven years, Coach Pete was the main man, and he did all the talking. He did all the the, the, the mind games. He took all the blame. He took all, you know. So Manuel has been quietly doing his job in the background. Mm-hmm. I I say because 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 I've known in the past seven years, there's only, there's only been one superstar, and that's Coach Pete. That's Coach Pete. So I think I think, I think we, are, we must not forget Coach Manuel has done this, this head coach coaching thing before. He knows. He knows what to do. And I think it's. It's. Uh, I think if I'm a coach, like the worst thing that could ever happen to me is to follow Coach Pizzo. I mean, you can't do the mind games like that, does it? Yeah. 
you can't speak. Yeah. Peter has end to speak the way he speaks. Like, what about that man? That man at I mean, which coach in SA where do you think was gonna do the thing he did after with that uh, in that interview with Peter Stewart? Which coach in SA was gonna get away with that? Mm. No one. Exactly. And, um, no I one. Think, I think Jorge, people must not be expecting another Pito in the press conferences. Like there's there's no one like Pito. That, that man has the balls to say Jorge. Case achieves is has been benefiting. He has the balls to say Jorge. I also want to benefit for five games straight. <laughs> So people must not be expecting Manova Abe lead that personality. He has a different personality. Mm-hmm. And yeah, Pito won us games before we actually played. That's so right true. now That's we're stepping true. into a new yeah, That's very true. We're stepping into a new dawn whereby we have Manova. He doesn't have uh King, the silent uh, personality. Well, he's not that, that silent personality. Kore, for the past six years, he's been an assistant. He's been an assistant to someone who's loud, mm. who's very loud, who has a big personality. So I don't know, man. Oto on your high, and then we'll see what what he has to do because it's been it's been long. So yeah, he'll step out and he'll show us for him and Yeah, and uh, I think the main thing that we've all been agreeing on, uh, even though most most people like are on the fence, Katavadi co coach. One thing we've all uh, I've been agreeing on with Coach Mangova there and Coach Ulani there. These guys know this team; they've been around. We we will continue where we left off. The philosophy there; they're not gonna change much. That, that, that's what I'm happy about. Like continuity. Like the players, the senior players, uh, they'll get back here. The senior players, and I think that's very important. When the senior players in the dressing room have been with you for past seven years, and they've been working with you every day. Baking Yabana will be very, very important, especially more especially um as we usher in these new players, this this these new exciting players that we brought. If if the new players see or the senior players are backing these two guys, Lemona they have no choice but to get on the on the on the gravy train. So I it, for now it was it, it very important that it was either one of them or the both of them. Bringing someone from the outside was going to mess everything, everything up, but the both of them for me was 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 very important. Especially when you're replacing a larger than life character like uh, uh, Coach Pito, mm. you don't want naturally. Yo, the compares and I know uh, security area. We shouldn't expect um, Coach Manuva Ave Pito in press conferences, in TV interviews, but. Natural the comparison dude, and unfortunately for my natural the comparison dude. Yeah, I mean, uh, Peter's like Mourinho, guys. That guy's blockbuster. Like uh, when Mourinho left exactly. uh, England, it, it it was no longer about uh, uh, tactics, this and that. People missed the character, the larger than life character, and outspokenness. Are you gents worried by the fact that? Uh, the statement that was uh, taken out uh, about uh, Coach Mangova and Coach Rulani Binko coaches, are you guys worried that it doesn't say, Hore, uh, these guys are our permanent co coaches? Does it worry any of you? Um, for me, it's not a worry, but it's just indecisiveness. Mm. For me. Um, I think it, that's what the statement showed. There's a bit of indecisiveness in terms of. Um, so now, like, I would have loved for the whole technical team to also be, maybe they'll do it, to also be um, uh, released as well. Who is, is it, is it co coaches? Uh, do we have an assistant uh, who's filling in KB spot? Uh, or are we not? And stuff like that. So, I would, maybe in the coming days they'll do that, but there's no there's no decisiveness there. And I f- like honestly, um, if you come out and appoint coaches, because there's no interim there, there's no uh, mm. in the in the meantime. If you come out and say you are announcing coaches, you really should be telling the public for how long is this contract. You know that's how coaches are always mm. announced. So, but mm. yeah, just. It points to indecisiveness for me. 
Mm. Anyone else? The statement, the statement if I hear the members and dance will in due course make other important announcements. So I don't know in other important announcements the replacement that he be or they just going to take um can I move the MDC guy and plug in, in him in David not one. No, no. Uh, oh, right, oh, right, in terms of mocking this spot. Yeah. No, but Sundown saying uh, there will be more announcements. It could be the winner, yeah, October single Sundown. It could be dates. <laughs> it could be dates. Some is Mummy Lodi Sundowns. Like, with Sundowns, you never know. Like, it could be <laughs> it could be a lot of things, Luto. It could be a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. It could yeah. be a lot of things. And I wonder For me, what... if by this week. Yeah. No, I was saying if by this week, uh like this coming week, we really don't know the new technical team, then you can see already uh the way in shock these people that are just now recovering from. Mara, why was the new technical team? It's just three people who left. Why are a new technical team? No, the new is like putting everyone in, in, in perspective. Mangoba is here, he's the head coach. Oh, this is the co-coaches. Uh this is you understand what I mean? Yeah, your team doctors. Oh, not your, your, your team doctors remain, your your mm. Saki remains, your Taso remains. Gulam and uh Gulam is still there, and, uh, Mario is still there. Maria is still there. Yeah, so it, it it's not much. It's, it's not much. It's just three people who left. Um, I'm I'm not sure who. Maybe these guys think ah we might not need a, a performance analyst or maybe Mario will do both uh, performance analysis and uh, opponent analysis. Yeah, you never know. Maybe they can. For now, they can. Babang baba kape chava it's a zidinze. Maybe Saki will train the guys. We spend, <laughs> we spend, we spend, after Kuzilana Tama, we spend a good part of three years, or two or three years, Elke, Elke, Coach Wendell, Ali Mola. Ah, Wendell. We continue. You must go back to, to, to the to bench. Where he was. Yeah, okay. you must be next to, you must be the third person there. So the space now. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, we are gonna backtrack a bit. I wanted to, to, ask, to ask you guys something. What did you guys make of? Uh, I know, like a lot of it has been said. What do you guys make of uh, Coach Rana's statement in terms of what has been been talked about? Hey, loyal, this loyal, this loyal, that. But what do you guys make of that? Of that statement? For me, you know, I think Rulani was trying to to balance things. You know, as the media was waiting on. There was too much weight on him and there were people asking or well, is he going or what mm. i think that he wanted to clarify that he stay but at the same time i feel like it made coach pito look bad that's why even the the account that coach pito you know he reacted and said someone is saying i'm disloyal you know well, what is the account that coach pito? Was that coach pito? <laughs> <laughs> i don't believe what coach pito. <laughs> you know Personally, the, the way Coach Peter loves Rulan, I, I wouldn't say it's him. <laughs> Honestly. And I get that some people are saying that account is to him from Johannesburg, not Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does anyone else want to say something about the statement? I, uh, no, I, it, was, it, was, it was poorly written. Um, you, 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 as a supporter, Maybe of, a, of another team, actually, you'd, you'd feel for it, you know, this statement is a is a shot at someone. But knowing the relationship between Rulani and Pito, Rulani is not someone who would say such a thing towards Pito. Rulani is not someone who would throw such a shot towards Pito. This is someone who sacrificed his time to pirate at Ako Sundown soon, just to be his assistant again. Just to be under his wing. So Hadama after twelve weeks or so, and then someone just throws a jab like that. I don't think that statement uh came about like that. I don't think it's a shot at uh Pito and I don't think man, I don't think that statement Lohonori Hulani would 
mean such a thing towards speed it's if it's so then it, it's not written by him i'm sorry it's not <laughs> yeah um, I, i said um you know when when uh, over something in way to end you know i want like mood like like not not, not that you know, but the way it's it's you you factor in a lot of things like a uh, secret and mesh said relationship here yeah, coach pito and um coach rulani and how they speak about each, uh, of each other um i don't know for me i don't know uh the four of you built up quite about that statement reeks of chlorcorp it just reeks of <laughs> of of, of chlorcorp yeah and the <laughs> it's it's on coach Rulani's official twitter um, twitter account mm. but yeah mm. i na na you can't say i would bet i would bet so much i don't know what i would bet my 10k and my casted <laughs> 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 I bet my 10k in my cast that or that statement was not written by coach Rulani. Don't ask me why. I have I have a, a, a hunch that says that statement was not written by him. I don't think it was. Obi. Um so for me um I think I I I think it was him. Maybe uh I might be wrong but I think for him it sort of felt like he needed to clarify because everyone was reporting when they were reporting Peter Nwabia KB Barmosi Barri Rulan like before they even the flight you know before they left it almost seemed like they knew that it was the four that's coming and Rulan was there so it 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 seemed as a clarification and a certainty from his side to say you know what um i'm i'm not going anywhere i'm staying at um, i'm really sad out uh, i think you missed this now, flight to cairo <laughs> maybe you missed it <laughs> but you know an animal is too much they book him a private one the next day <laughs> <laughs> you know so i feel like on that side that statement would have been welcome you know just mm-hmm. to clear that certainty but obviously you know it's twitter now no one has no one cares about context no one cares to mm. to to think Koti Rulani and Pito their relationship they it's a first level you are seeing loyal there you are connecting it you are saying that you know Pito is not loyal so the whole fiasco for me it didn't matter much because i know the relationship between Pito and and coach Rulani mm. now it can bring that question or maybe it was not him because yeah but the wedding there was really was off off poor Yeah, Elena. Yeah. Whoever was go visiting Ella. Poor way. Because I'm just going to up. Yeah, Elena. I don't think I don't think even Coach Peter's tweet uh, when he said someone said I'm disloyal. I don't think that was meant for Rolani, but I think that's a topic for another day. I was you I was coming there. Yeah. Born. <laughs> I was coming there. It was meant for the person who wrote the thing. Mm. <laughs> I hear you, people. I hear you. Too. On people's faces. On people's faces it says it's it's Rulani, you know, you know how people are. Yes. Must, and you know what coach, coach Pizza once said something so powerful and in terms like this I remember his words. Coach Pizza has always said. Remember when Coach Pizza was doubting that that statement was written by Bongani Zungu. Zungu. Coach Pizza said something about that. He said you must always read what's not what's not written and listen to what's not said mm. i'll leave it there <laughs> so guys uh are you guys still as confident about project uh, 2024 as you were confident about it in 2024 are you still thinking we will um continue doing what we thought we were going to do the coach so with uh coach rulan and coach mangof um you know uh Peter's departure ne, is not a departure that uh, comes because uh, he had planned to leave. It's a sudden 
it's a sudden thing, you know. Like the way he was speaking um, about his team, the way he was raving about that team, you can see that there's a plan that's there. And this, and this plan with the signings that were coming in, it was being executed, you know. Uh, strengthening where you you need to strengthen, bringing in players. So with with that in mind, I know for a fact that that project is on is going to be on autopilot, even for next season at least. It's going to be on autopilot because those people have, have planned it to the T. Uh, you know, when, when players are being announced this week, these are not players that someone woke up and said, today, Kilata Irasmas, or today, Kilata Spanban. These are signings that have been worked on. These are signings that have been worked on behind the scenes. So I don't, there is like no, no team should be able to, to catch that, that Sundance team next season. It will be something, I don't know, out of, you can't not uh, go toe to toe with that team that Sundance has built. I, it's I, like, I don't, like, I don't see an equation where that happens. It's, Sundance is not Chelsea where you bring, you know, they bring in Bove and you know all these big name players. Uh, but they don't come from a winning, from winning a treble. They don't come from years of being consistent in the Champions League and reaching, you know. We come from those years. So the habit is there, the habit of CAF, the habit of, of winning, of being top two, the habit of always challenging for trophies. So for the next three years, if anyone wants to chase us, they must sign. A, a, or they must get an owner from North Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no one. I can't. Does anyone else still remember the question? <laughs> <laughs> still, still as confident as before. Um, personally, for me, I'll start here. We've we've lost. A, a big guy in in B Jobo, like mm-hmm. someone who was like in the middle of this plan, someone he was very key for this 2024 project, and now we've lost him. But it doesn't mean Jorge, everything is gonna fall apart because like the 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 structure is in place. We have we have. Let me start with the captain. We have a we have a huge figure in. We have a huge figure in in Onyango. We have a huge fig. We have a huge figure in Kennedy Mwen. Those players, th- those are big players who will. Again, we have a lot of signings. Mm. Those are big players who will try um about like Hoba Hoba inductor into the team. It's not like Bokemika just gonna be starting games like everyone, but Domingo and everyone. They're just gonna be. Baba Tenye Pila goes starting 11. And I don't think we're going to start off from square one because we have this mentality. We know how to win games. Let's start there. We know how to win the league. We know how to win um, trophies. So we're not going to start from, from scratch. And now I was I was looking forward to see what, who the team will bring in the technical team. And so far, it's continuing. It's Rulani Mango, but there will be Fendel as well. So to say there will be other people who will be challenging us, this thing will be a walkover, I feel. So <laughs> it will be it's a walkover, this thing. It's a walkover. We have we have literally I tweeted this. We have literally the best players in every position. Okay, mm. for for we have course we have Onyango in from for the goalkeeping department, we have left, we have the best right full back, we have the best left full back, we have the best centre backs. There's no excuse. There is literally no excuse. You are in a team that is used to winning, and you bring in such players, you bring in such big players, big performers. This thing is not really about the league, Habe. We are chasing bigger things. We're chasing Kev. You're chasing Rabatawa finally in your cave. You want the second star, not the thing in league. League, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's up to the two other people. It's up to other people who are challenge, but 
fine, they'll challenge us. It can happen. We'll win the league easy. So I'm saying we're not gonna start over. Continuity is there, our captain is there, we're not losing anyone, we're not losing any major people. Like before when we lost Kamabili and Pesitao, we're not losing anyone. Mm. Mm. So it's just integrating those new players into the team, phasing out the old people, bringing in the new players. We will be fine. We will be fine for this season. Mm. Yeah, strong was the strong was the gents. Uh, uh, in closing, um, any of you guys have any doubt for uh, this? Uh, Way things are right now with the, the co coaches, it hasn't even started. But are you, are you guys confident that this thing can go on for a season, two seasons, three seasons, four seasons? Are you confident that this thing will work for years to come? Um, I'll go first. Um, going back to your previous question, you know, the old saying strengthening from the position from a position of power. Mm. That's that's what Mabel Sundowns did. Um, got the transfer window from winning winning a treble in Champions League quarterfinals. Coach Pito and his technical team, including Mangwaba, Mangwaba and Rulani, sat down and 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 said to themselves, "How can we better this? How can we now, from a domestic clean sweep, how can we go for the big fish?" Sharp. We need centre forwards. We bring three centre forwards. We need, <laughs> we need uh, um, uh, someone who would rest. Okay, uh, needs to but just my little grand magaman. We need someone to retire a long man of We need, uh, we need uh, when Gaston and Shishu are not there, we tend to struggle. Kapinga and Hashim Domingo. Here we go. So from from. I don't believe, like obviously, I don't believe key decision near Coach Mizalinoj. It was a collective decision from technical team Kaufela. And judging from that, th- things should go smoothly, there, guys. Like, it, 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 it should be a smooth transition. I, I, like, on, on, on a, ser- on my, like, on a serious note, I don't see us collecting less than 68 points. Less than 68. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. You have to get yeah. to, to even think go to computer I I I keep on us getting because we used to after Champions game we used to play let's say like Cairo on the Saturday we would play on the Wednesday you can go to Cairo on the Saturday and <laughs> and play Bogi from to on the Wednesday and still do it <laughs> so so um going back to your your, your question now. Uh, do you think this will last? If they deliver trophies, I don't see why not. Mm. If they deliver, if they continue the work they've been involved in in the past seven years, I don't think why. I don't think, see the reason why this shouldn't shouldn't continue for the next two, three, four years until twenty twenty four. Maestro, what do you say? Funny enough, going back to your to your question, guys, keep in mind that we have someone who knows how to win the MTN eight now. <laughs> <laughs> so we are taking the MTN8. But honestly, I think this will this will continue for maybe three years to come. Mm. But at the same time, I think most big giants in Africa are looking at sundowns, you know. I also see Rulani in the rest time going maybe to North Africa, in my own personal opinion. So I think this will continue, but the North Africans are watching us, guys. Yeah, and they're snipping up our people. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, um, I think this is a is a sort of it puts Coach Rulani in a very good for me, good and you know, interesting position because I think there's a lot of talk. Uh, you know, uh, at Paris with Micho, you know, that relationship. Uh, all those incidents on the touchline. I think this affords Rulani an opportunity, you know, to show people that, you know, the technical team, that's, you know, how, how they did it there or, but with Mangoba, this is how the, the relationship is going to work. And I've always said, you know, if Parrot were winning trophies, no one would care that uh, Rulani is stopping Gabuza from coming in. <laughs> it's just that when there's, when there's not trophies, you get frustrated. So all these things that are happening there, 
<laughs> you understand? Those are excuses. So this puts Rulane, you know, in a very good and interesting position, you know, to sort of deal with that narrative that he undermines, uh, you know, his, his colleagues, he undermines people. So I really want to see for him doing that and uh, working with Mangoba, uh, you know, and obviously trophies, I, by the way, at Sundance, they're not a wish. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What a, what a way to close it. What a way to close it. <laughs> yeah, gents. Uh, actually, yeah, I know. So, uh, I think we've said a mouthful in terms of uh, announcement of uh, our new co-coaches uh, that come into... Uh, I don't even know whether to say to replace Coach Beads or but the head coach uh, uh, position had to be filled and it's filled by... Coach Mangova and Coach Rulani, and judging from what you guys are saying, uh, it doesn't seem as if like we, 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 you guys are of the opinion that we'll have any problems. And I, I share your sentiments. I share your sentiments, gents. And uh, hopefully, we continue where we left off with uh, a domestic uh, onslaught and uh, mm. a good campaign in the Champions League. Uh, hopefully, we get Al Ahli somewhere along the line. And ah, I want. Uh, <laughs> I want that trip. Yeah. I want. I want that trip it to Cairo. Yeah. Fate, fate has it that we will meet Al Ahly next season. Fate boy. I, I really hope so. I really hope. Why so. that little guy? Ah, yeah. Uh, it seems as if we are married to it, that, but I think that romance is gone. Coach beats are gone. It's a million. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, we we talk about because he's seventeen. Like Al Ahly, no, I did. Yeah, it's this romance, I <laughs> it. But yeah, thank, thank, thank you so much, gents, for, for making time. Uh, and uh, I'm glad we got to discuss this. Uh, hopefully, we'll have uh, more discussions like this. Uh, thanks to uh, one and only secret agent uh, for making his uh, Masanda Honor Fan Vlog debut. Uh, really appreciate it, bro. Uh, Maestro, Maestro gave us gems uh, during the bubble. Uh, you led us to a travel. How are you? I won't tell you who, Mestro, I won't tell you who, but I sent your video to one or two, three players. So they saw that. I know one. <laughs> I think I know one. Let's not mention names, it's fine. <laughs> So yeah, gents, thank you so much uh, for uh, for making time and uh, yeah, uh, let the season begin.